Um, 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 we're talking about we're talking <laughs> about stooges. I know, but we're talking about finding that space. I haven't found it yet. Mm. Where there's that tranquility and meditation mm. apparently brings it to you. Yes, it does. <laughs> and that's what we're going to talk about today. I know Marlene's like, what is meditation? And how can I get me some? I want to be there. <laughs> I want it. Catherine Hull mm. is a meditation teacher in Ottawa. She's owner, co-owner mm. of the Peace Room on Spark Street Mall. Mm. Now, I had the honor of going to the Peace Room earlier this week to experience a class with mm -hmm. Catherine. I'm a meditator, have been mm. meditating for years, but it, you know, it's different it's a different experience when somebody's teaching you a class and you're just mm -hmm. on your own kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about meditation, right, Catherine? There's, mm -hmm. It's like finding your voice. It's like finding the right exercise. There's something for everybody. You have to connect with what's right for you. Yeah, absolutely. You have to try the different tools and really find one that's going to that's gonna help you. And it doesn't have to be one way where people often think there's one way to meditate. You know, like, oh, like you said, <laughs> you're sitting on a mountaintop yeah, in the exactly. Himalayas, yeah. you know, and uh, yeah, and you're finding inner peace and there's only one way. Yeah, there's many ways. Right. Many ways. Yeah. So can we describe what meditation is and mm. what its purpose is in our lives, I guess, here in North America? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's good to bring it into <laughs> North America and so we can relate to it. Uh, yeah, it's the act of letting go. Uh, letting go, watching the mind, creating some space between you and your thoughts, where mm -hmm. we often think we are our thoughts. Mm -hmm. And when we think we're our thoughts, they often trap us into this, you know, cycle that goes over and over or down the toilet, whichever <laughs> way you want to think chatter, about chatter, it. Chatter, yeah. chatter, yeah. And then that creates the world an emotional spinning. Yeah. yeah, it creates an emotional response in the body, and then that creates mm -hmm. generally an action word. Sometimes we don't always feel good about how we've reacted to a situation. Um, but again, that mind has just triggered us and the emotions and then the action. So meditation is the act of getting to know the mind. You could call it like the mind musculature. It's like going to the gym, but for your mind. Yep. Uh, so you're able to get better acquainted with what this thing is doing, with the patterns, the words that are going on in mm -hmm. that, the images, and then create a little bit of space between that and have some re- you know, more responsivity versus reactivity. So it's like having perspective. Yeah. On, on You're watching some freaking circus happening. When you step back from your thoughts or above or wherever you want to yeah, see yeah, your yeah. thoughts from, you, you're you observing that it's kind of chaos in your mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, that those thoughts are random. Very often they're not kind. Mm -hmm. And and in many, many, many cases, those thoughts are running our lives. And we think they define who we are. So meditation mm -hmm. gives us that opportunity just to take a little pause and take a look at that circus as opposed yeah. to being in it. But, and, but how do you turn it off? How do you mm, turn off all that noise and so get into that? That's one of the misconceptions about meditation and why people often don't, don't give it more than like a couple days because they have this expectation, this unrealistic expectation that there's supposed to be no mind, right? right. And that takes Turned practice, mm -hmm. but it's more like turning down the volume on your mind. For instance, when you take your, your awareness, your focus, and you put it towards the breath or the body, and you're really focused on breathing, it's very hard for your mind to be busy or you simply don't notice it because you've turned up the volume on some other part of you and therefore down the volume on this chatter. So it's more about shifting your awareness and realizing that you have control to do that. Um, and then you're using that tool throughout your day. When something triggers you, when you get stressed and you notice you're like, you know, the mind starting to do its thing, you focus on the breath. And often meditation is really just breathing. It's taking some Well, that's what breaths. my watch keeps telling me. <laughs> when it's like you have an Apple watch and all of a sudden, you know, you're going through, all of a sudden you hear this little thing and it says no. breathe. Oh, it says that's breathe. amazing. Take deep breaths. And do you? <laughs> <laughs> but I will now. So a lot of people <laughs> also don't know how to breathe. Okay. So we'll say like, you know, we have a lot of breath work at the Peace Room. We do breath work classes, so we teach people how to properly breathe, which is not only like really good for the mind, but good for the body. Like the can, you, can you show me? Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to show you something? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll do a little demo okay. here. Okay. So close your eyes or soften your gaze. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start to tune into the inner landscape of the body and noticing that your body is breathing all on its own. Noticing the parts of the body that are expanding or elevating as you inhale. And the parts of the body that are softening or lowering as you exhale. And then start
starting to invite a deeper, fuller breath into the belly area. So taking a deep breath in, expanding the belly in all four directions, and then exhaling gently out the mouth and nose. And two more of those big deep belly breath and exhaling. And then opening your eyes when you're ready. <laughs> this is magic. Wow. What do you think? Well, I just thought about that. That's what I was thinking right. about. I was not thinking was about Was your mind busy? <laughs> well, just thinking about your You body. didn't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was it's not thinking of any problems or mm. issues. I was trying to get that belly. Yeah, right, right, right. Breathing. Did so. you try it at home <clears throat> and did you feel what Catherine was asking mm. for? It's that it is that kind of letting go of this mm. to focus on where you are and who you are right here, mm. right now. Mm -hmm. I have a great analogy for why meditation is difficult. Uh, it's that we spend so much time, if we think of this like our house, right? We have this one house for our lifetime here. And the head is like the front step. And we spend so much time like sitting on the front step. And when we open the doorway to go into the body of the house, it's really cluttered. So we've all seen an episode of Hoarders or know what that looks like to go into a space where it's like messy and things aren't organized and it, it just feels really not good to be there. Mm -hmm. So the body has these like bobos or triggers or stresses, you know, these, these traumas that we've had maybe throughout life. And so when we meditate, we essentially are opening the doorway to go into the body, but then it brings up all this stuff. So it's not always easy. So the breath helps us to clean. You could think of it like decluttering that landscape inside the body and create more space mm -hmm. so we can be in our body and be fully present rather than being in our head or on the front doorstep mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. the time on our cell phone on the front door doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> Not wanting to go into the house. So meditation is a way to bring us fully into our body. And when we're fully into our body, we're connected. We have less illness. We have lower stress. We have better health overall, and we're able to focus um, on tasks at hand. Like mm. even as a business owner, we're able to focus more clearly and deal with the just natural stresses that, that come up. And it's as simple as breathing. What are the excuses you hear? I mean, I hear it too, because I recommend in my courses and my coaching that people take up meditation just to right. bring them into the present moment, because mm. right now everything is good over here. <laughs> so what do you hear from people about why they don't want to try this? Right. The biggest thing is they think it's uncomfortable. That's number one. So they think you have to be seated upright for a long period of time. So we have a, you know, a belief at the Peace Room that a comfortable body will receive meditation more easily. So lay down, uh, especially if that's what your body needs. If you're stressed, like just lay down, give the body some rest. Uh, the second thing is they think it might be too religious, that they're confused okay. between religion and our spiritual. Um, there is a spiritual component, but there's also a lot of like health components yeah. to meditation science. as well. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and science is doing more research all the time and proving the amazing benefits of meditation. And then they, they also feel like it will just be too hard. So the unrealistic expectation they said is that they're going to be like that, that Buddha, that guru right away. <laughs> yeah. And they don't realize like exercise or anything else, it's going to take time. Um, so I tell people like, will you promise me that for 30 days you'll meditate like five minutes a day mm -hmm. and you're not going to judge yourself yeah. for yeah. like trying to get to that outcome right mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. um, and that just like, just take the pressure off. Yeah. This, yeah. this society we're in, there's always like this, we're goal driven, we want to get there right away. expectations on everything, yeah. right? If so don't get it done instant. right away, uh, yeah. you instant. want it instant. instant. You want that, yeah. that secret pill that's going to fix everything. My, my partners and I were, we all come from the uh, fitness industry and we were all like personal trainers for a long time. So we already understand the realistic expectations around health <laughs> um, and around body uh, that people put on themselves. But on the mind, it's, we're just starting to get to know what the mind is. I mean, we've spent centuries trying to understand the body and we still don't understand it fully. And now we're going into the mind and forget even emotional and spiritual nature, <laughs> like well-being. We're just trying to focus on the mental well-being. Right. And there's a mental health crisis in our, yeah. in our yeah. especially in, in Western, uh, yeah. in the Western world. So the more that people can like give themselves that space and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just like exercise. If you were to do one good workout a week versus a little bit every day, you'd get more results with consistency. A little bit every day. Same thing with the mind. Even five minutes a day, mm -hmm. a little bit every day is going to go further than 
oh, I need to be doing an hour. Right. That's not going to really last you the full week, especially at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Right. You need to be And you couldn't do a full full hour. No, without at the beginning. Getting caught up in your thoughts. Well, yeah. how long do you do it? About 20 minutes. Every okay. morning? Almost every morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do yoga and then, because originally going way, 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 way mm -hmm. back, that's what meditation was. Right. It was, yoga was to set you up to stretch out your body so you could sit in meditation. Mm -hmm. So you prepare the body. She knows the history. Well, a little bit because yeah. I, for some reason I've been drawn to this stuff forever. Yeah. And, and, I, and I see why. It, and you said it, Catherine. Didn't you say it's like putting in, in a bank account? Didn't you say something yeah. like that? Yeah, it's like, like in a, depositing into your spiritual, emotional, <laughs> mental bank account. Yeah. It's, so it's you can take those withdrawals when life gets like really hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who doesn't have that? That's the thing. None of us are without, right. even if it appears like that from the outside, none of us are without challenge and, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, and the people that often have, you know, risen to levels of success, they've had the most amount of challenge to get there. I'm sure you, you mm -hmm. can relate to that. And so meditation is really key um, for helping us to navigate all of those challenges mm -hmm. and not get pulled down by them. Yeah, yeah. For sure. and, and the best excuse is I don't have time. That's my favorite mm -hmm. excuse. People, well, of course you don't have time if you don't make the time. Yeah. But you have the same time in your day as I do in mine as Marlene and Catherine does in theirs. So yeah. we have to create that space for ourselves. And yeah. again, going back to this idea that women are the leaders, we need to put ourselves first. Mm. If it's five minutes of your life, mm -hmm. find a way, go online, find something, go to the peace room, cut yourself mm -hmm. some slack and go to the peace room and have a nice 45 minute it's like going to the spa for your mind. That's yeah, a, that's, that's a very good analogy. It's so beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I did feel very peaceful when I came out of that. It's really great. So, that's awesome. Thank you very much for joining us You're today. Welcome. Really thank appreciate you. it. You've inspired me. I yeah, think thank I'll, I'll you. Try. <laughs> try meditation. Awesome. Enjoy your day.